Hello everybody, welcome to my channel and to Sewing Made Easy. Just recently I had a question from Frank. He said to me, Lilo, can you please show how to do the hem of some trousers with jeans material? Well, we all know it can be a challenge to work with jeans material. As you know, as soon as you have certain layers of material on top of each other, it gets more difficult to get over it with any kind of machine, no matter if you've got a household machine or even an industrial machine, because even there, sometimes it's just too hard the material and too difficult and heavy to really properly stitch over it without the threads ripping or splitting apart. But as Frank said, show it to me on some trousers on the hem. Well, to be honest, the way I am explaining it to you, it's not only meant just for trouser hems. It's for any kind of hem or for any kind of seam that you might want to do with the jeans material that you can use this little tip, this hint that I'm going to give you how to much easier sew over all the seams you have no matter how many layers you will have lying on top of each other. So I hope I got you interested. So kindly I ask you to stay tuned and watch my video. Let's get going. Let's get started. When I prepare myself to work with jeans material, I in general have some tools lying ready there for me. This will be my hammer, a solid piece of wood, my good scissors for sewing, and already I prepare my sewing machine with the right threads, the right color, so everything is prepared and I can get started. So if it is a repair, as I show you here in my case, of course, first of all, I have to cut this piece off. As you can see, these trousers were definitely too long. Otherwise, the bottom of the material wouldn't have been ripped out as you can see it here. So I straight cut it off as I know I still got enough allowance here to now prepare my seam, my hem. So I get my ironing out, prepare everything, and I first of all just iron one centimeter on the bottom over. And if this would be a skirt or a dress, I would do exactly the same. Or if I would have any kind of other seam that seems to be too thick for me, then I can also iron over that to slightly flatten it already with the ironing. And now you see, now I turned over another three centimeters on the bottom here. So one centimeter is lying inside and the other three that I turn over towards the top is my actual seam width. And I do exactly the same. I once go all the way around with my ironing so I have a real flat prepared seam here to be able to continue. That means I'm ready to now take my piece of wood and grab my hammer. And I leave my seams exactly turned over as I just ironed it. And first, before I start hammering, I kind of take it between my fingers to see how thick, how high is this seam now with, with all these different material layers on top of each other. And therefore I can make this decision, do I need to really hammer very hard onto it? And I can look underneath to make sure I'm not damaging the material. As we know, not every jeans material is the same thickness, depending on if you have a very thick one, of course, you got to hammer a little bit more. And by the way, this piece of wood, it's got to be really a smooth piece of wood, not with any big grains in it, because just the grains with the hammering, you could damage the material, and that's what you don't want to do. So now we're ready to go with this onto the sewing machine. My machine is prepared with the right kind of color thread, which I chosen in the same color as my trousers so far been stitched in dark blue. And you can watch this now. This is the real time speed that I'm showing you here. And the machine, because I hammered all the seams nice and flat, the machine just rides over it really smooth without any problems. And that's the whole deal. That's all you got to do to work with your jeans in future. Well, my dear YouTube friends, 
With this video, I hope I could give you a real easy good tip for all your works in future with jeans material. So I would appreciate it if you sent me some comments and let me know again where in this world are you watching me from. And then I kindly ask you, stay healthy and please come around again to watch all of my videos. Thank you so much and goodbye until next time. With many greetings from Germany.